Alright. Got some daylight now. The sun don't block it out now. Uh, like I said, I got this wall insulated. Okay, uh, along the rafters, on the roof that goes up in an angle like this, um, there is a gap that I left in there. I'm not absolutely sure, but I uh, had a couple contractors tell me before that they're, the roof uh, is the vents are there for a reason. Uh, so the roof can breathe. Uh, otherwise, it would, uh, I guess, rot or something like that. So I took it up for as far as the wall is going to go up. Uh, and then once the ceiling goes in, it'll go right up against it. That'll leave ventilation up for the roof and insulate the bedroom. So that's what I did last night. It got too dark on me. Uh, got the tub set back in place. Uh, that's because I had to mark the spot for the drain, spot for the back, and got the PVC pipe in uh, for the sewage vent. I've got to go downstairs. I got to install ones for the toilet. I got to figure out exactly the way of doing that for the, um, I mean, the drain there for the uh, sink. Uh, yeah, go down. I worked on in the basement. I'm not going to go down there right now. It's too dark. Not enough light. Uh, still working on cleaning the mess up. But. See if you can see this. I got it just setting up there for now. I got to push it the rest of the way up. The vent all the way to the floor. Was, that was no joke, especially in the basement. I had to finish tearing out the cast iron pipe, and it was not easy. Uh, I had to finish gutting this wall over here. Uh, tear out along that side so the PV, uh, PVC pipe would set back all the way back in it. Uh, now I just got to figure out where the... Uh, Tub's going to come through, the toilet's going to come through, and then of course the sink. Of course I'm going to try to, my best to keep all the pipes up as high as I can. Good news for today, I had the uh, heating and air conditioning guy come out. Uh, new one. Uh, hopefully I'm uh, waiting for him to get back to me the exact day that he can start to come in to put it in, install it very very reasonable price uh, I could not beat the price uh, but right now I really wasn't worried too much about the price I just was worried about someone actually showing up and of course I'm always worried about the price too I don't know why I would say that but um he's gonna install the furnace let me see if I can get some light he's gonna install the furnace such a rare system he says everything included uh, I won't say the price but everything included for me to walk in the door Flip the switch and then I have heat. Okay, let's see if I get this light down here. Ooh. All right, maybe you should be able to see that. That's what the <clears throat> the last little bit. I had to tear it all the way down to that drain right there, that that main one. I also cleaned it out some. Uh, I stuck that on there. That's a clean out valve in case it ever gets clogged up when the plumber comes in. Uh, this pipe right here, right there, is only set in there temporarily until I where I run my drains for my sink on the first floor. But let me see if you can see this. Yeah, I had that little bit of square to work plumbing up and around and back over to the wall. That was a task. But like I said, I got it all. It's all pretty much put in place. Um, I had to use, uh, let me see, if you see this, this right here is called horsehair. Because back in the day they used to take in, uh, with the cast iron, they just melt lead around it. Um, there was no rubber boot for a three inch pipe at all the Home Depots that I went to, so I had to get horsehair. So I put horsehair around it, I got it up that far, installed the, uh, installed the, uh, clean out valve or a trap or whatever you want to call it I installed my uh, my split and like I said just got that pipe right there just sitting there I gotta see it yeah like how I sealed it off and make sure control the, any fumes or anything like that coming back into the place 
Uh, so all this, the whole basement drain pipe is totally uh, glued and set in place and, and sealed. So now I can work upstairs and, and that's how you usually do it. You work your way up, not down because of how you're going to hold all the stuff in. You know, a little bit of common sense. <laughs> but uh, here's the old furnace. Like I said, it didn't have a central air system. That's going to be coming out of here. Thank God. The uh, only thing I didn't like is uh, he was taking up a little bit of my uh, upstairs space because uh, I have to build a couple bulkheads for him to run all the vents and run the uh, returns. Uh, this week I should have a uh, guy coming in to uh, help me with uh, changing that box over. If not, uh, then yours truly is going to do it. One and only. But there, here's some of the basement. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Uh, this is what I was talking about, about as far as the furnace goes. I'm the last people I was talking to in the Cow Talk chat room. Uh, you see the stairs over there and the doorway to in the basement, cellarway. That's the space I'm working with. <clears throat> right there with that old refrigerator and washer setting back in that corner is where the hot water heater goes so I had to have that there uh, what we was talking about is that lay down unit uh, that I was checking on that was in another house um, it would have had to go up against that ceiling there at duct work and it was just been too much of a headache because especially you can see right there beside the furnace is that's where my uh, chimney goes and that's where my smokestacks and everything have to go out of there's no way I could put it in there and if I had to I would have had to the lay down unit would have came all the way back out to here would have took up all my space in my basement but only thing salvageable out of the whole house was a four year old or maybe three somewhere around there uh, hot water heater actually in really good shape it's a really big size hot water heater so so you can see the basement some uh, this 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 way this way this whole area if I can learn how to talk this whole area is going to become either a bedroom or a club part of the basement back there in the corner is where the little bathroom is going to go a half bath uh, right beside it is going to be the laundry room uh, so people uh, whoever gets this house is actually going to have it pretty well set up at least to my standards and the way I, I think it should be done. So, but that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more work done today and put some more film on here. Until then, see ya. It's time to clean this place up. I've already, well, you probably can't see it, but I already took some of the stuff out, loaded it on the truck. We walk out this way. Uh, yep, that white truck. This one truck I'm gonna finish loading up, and then of course I got my other green truck, my F-250. I'm gonna load that up. Look, I'll let you watch me work for a little bit. I don't worry, I'll fast forward it.
Got the mess pretty much cleaned up down here. Of course, y'all probably can't see any other room. Let's see what I can do about that. All right. Got all that mess cleaned up. Took the bathtub. Uh, I got to finish taking out the wire up along there, but wasn't planning on building the wall today, but I had to open space. And a few minutes left before it's, as you can see out the window there, it's getting dark out and I'm getting ready to lose all my light. But uh, the mess is all cleared up. So I'm going to start actually doing some framing down here. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but all my, uh, shoot, everything that's been holding me up was the heating and air conditioning guy. Got it at a nice, reasonable price. Uh, so things should start flying then. Let me walk out here and before this battery's getting ready to die. It took me a good long while to get this place cleaned up. As you can see, yeah, it's getting darker and darker here. Both trucks. This one is totally loaded. And this one, I don't know if you can see it all that well, but that's got all the metal on it. That's got all the stuff going to the dump, that's got all the stuff going to the scrapyard. But, until next time, you guys have a nice day. See ya.